Welcome to Vital Records, the monthly genealogy tip series. My name is Valerie, and I'm a library associate at the Hamilton Mill Branch of the Gwinnett County Public Library. I'm an experienced genealogist excited to explore genealogy resources with you today. This month, I'm going to discuss how the Gwinnett County Library Learning Labs can assist in creating oral histories as part of your genealogy research. GCPL's Learning Labs are community makerspaces located at the Centerville, Duluth, Five Forks, Hamilton Mill, Lilburn, Norcross, Peachtree Corners, and Swanee Branches. The Learning Labs are spaces to create, collaborate, and share digital content. They have the equipment and software that you need to record oral history interviews. An oral history is the audio or video recording of an individual's personal experiences or knowledge. They're important for historic preservation and knowledge preservation, especially when they focus on minority groups, historic and cultural events, or knowledge of specialized technology and practices. Various organizations such as the Library of Congress, StoryCorps, and the Gwinnett County Public Library have projects designed to record oral histories. The creation of oral history is not limited to large organizations, however. Anyone can make them. And our learning labs have everything you need to make one yourself. Let me show you how. What exactly goes into creating an oral history interview? Consider who you're going to interview and why you want to interview them. What questions do you have about your family history and who can help answer them? You might want to interview your oldest relative and ask them about their life and family, or perhaps you want to interview someone who experienced a significant historical or cultural event, such as the moon landing, the civil rights movement, the emergence of new technology, or immigration to a new country. Invite your interviewee to sit down with you for an interview and provide them with a list of topics that you plan to discuss. This will allow them to think about what they'd like to say, what additional topics they would like to discuss, and give them a chance to tell you if they feel uncomfortable with a particular topic. Also, do some preliminary research on both the interviewee and the topics that you want to ask. For example, asking someone about their memories of the first moon landing is not a productive question for someone born in the 1970s. Lists of questions for genealogy oral history interviews are readily available from online resources such as Ancestry.com, Family Tree Magazine, and more. Begin your interview by stating your name and the date. Ask the interviewee basic questions such as their name, when and where they were born, the names of their parents, etc. During the interview, avoid closed questions that could be answered with a yes or a no. Instead, ask open-ended questions using phrases such as, tell me about, can you describe, or what do you remember about. It's best to limit your interview to an hour. You don't want to exhaust your interviewee, and you probably don't want to cover too many topics in one recording. Once you finish your interview, make sure to thank your interviewee for participating. Now that we've talked about how to conduct an oral history interview, I want to talk about the resources the library provides to help you create one. The very first resource that I want to mention are our Learning Lab Specialists. These GCPL employees are here to assist you with the technology that we offer, including helping you set up equipment and teaching you how to use it. To schedule a Learning Lab session with a Learning Lab Specialist, use the Book a Librarian form and select Learning Labs. Our Learning Labs offer a variety of equipment that can be used to record oral histories, including video cameras, computers, microphones, lighting equipment, tripods, and green screens. We offer software such as Audacity, iMovie, and Final Cut Pro to edit your recordings. Bring a flash drive to save your files on, or purchase a 16 gigabyte flash drive for only $6 from the library. If you have any questions about accessing these resources, please contact your nearest library branch or the Customer Contact Center for assistance. If you'd like one-on-one -on -one assistance with genealogy research, you can use the Book a Librarian request form. Check back again next month for another edition of Vital Records.